Hello. Um, it is May 8th, I think. Um, it's Thursday, and I fought on Monday. Um, I have this <laughs> really big black eye. I actually didn't get hit in the eye. I got elbowed in the cheek, and my cheek got really big. And um, then as it drained, it just drained into my eye socket, which I've had before when I get like an elbow on my forehead. It just, everything drains into the socket. Um, it's a dark one. It doesn't hurt, um, but it's definitely noticeable. <laughs> When I'm walking around, people definitely stare at me a little bit. Um, but I won that fight, it was good. Um, but, so, it's we're about a week into May, um, and we have just decided very recently that we are going to move to Pattaya. So, um, at the end of this month, we're going to move all our stuff down to Pattaya, and I'll go train at the two camps that I was at before when we went in January to kind of um, have the... Sakman Kon training experience. So I'll be at um, WKO gym with Sakman Kon, um, and then my primary training will be at Pet Rung Rung gym, um, which is full of kids, which is really good for me because I'm small. Um, so I have lots of people to train with, spar with, uh, clinch with, and uh, they're very good at like teaching technique and foundational stuff, which um, even though I know tons of technical Muay Thai because of Master K and my years here, um, I still have some serious gaps in some really primary stuff. Um, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's really exciting because it's such good training down there. And um, Kevin and I actually thought we were going to hate Pattaya before we went because um, it's not the kind of place we would ever want to go. And then we ended up really liking it, uh, not only for the training, but the actual place um, where we were living. It's, uh, it's definitely got all of the things that we thought we were going to hate and we did dislike those things. Um, but it's also got a lot of other things. It's, it's got um, elements that uh, are very cool and are very Thai and uh, it's, I mean, it's a huge, huge change. I'm really going to miss elements of Chiang Mai. Um, I'm going to miss people in Chiang Mai. Uh, Pook especially, who is a good friend of ours and we have breakfast with her and well, she makes breakfast and, and we go to her place and she has the best coffee in Chiang Mai and she's just a really, really amazing person and it's wonderful that you can stay in touch with people but it's also really hard knowing that it's at a distance. You know, this part of life is that when you like move away from people you can still be in contact with them but it's definitely not the same as like the actual relationship of seeing someone all the time. Um, but it's kind of a... I mean, it's a big move, it's a big change, um, it's scary in some degrees, um, but part of what makes it the right time right now, something, um, is that we don't know how much longer we can stay in Thailand just financially. Um, so if we can get another year out, getting a year with more experience or different experience um, seems like a very good idea. Um, and then right now a lot of things are changing. Um, at Lana right now. And it's, you know, all gyms go through this and um, it's not, it's not particular to Lana or, I mean, my problems are particular to Lana because that's where I train, but I think all gyms go through this. They go through cycles. Um, you know, they're very busy at one time, not busy at another, very good at one time, and kind of trainers cycle out or they go through and it doesn't, it doesn't mean the end of anything, um, but, you know, people come and go, and Thai people work very hard. They're very hardworking people. Um, but there's also a kind of, I'd call it a soft transience, um, which is that they will, in the Muay Thai world, um, up and go, just like disappear. Um, and people who are very loyal, who are very good, will just go train at another gym. Like, I don't mean students, I mean trainers will, you know, go to a better opportunity or something that pays more or they can help their family more with. And um, right now Lana's going through a little bit of that. It seems like a lot of the trainers are frustrated by their situation and are looking for alternatives. Um, a lot of things are changing just very naturally, like um, Big, who is for me a huge part of the gym just in terms of what he adds to it and how he feels as part of it. And he's always been there for the time that I've been there because he grew up at the camp. Um, he got conscripted into the army. So he's actually gone. Um, and he's gone already. He went on May 1st. Um, 
happily he's really local he got he got really lucky he's just at the Kuwila military uh, station so he's basically like a little town over but you know he's gone from here um, and so a lot of the things that would be really difficult about leaving the camp are already changing or have already changed. Um, Den is gone right now. He's not gone permanently, but he might be gone permanently. Um, he took a vacation to Scotland for six weeks. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, he has plans to come back, but it seems like it's a little bit of a recon mission. Um, you never know. Uh, Dan got really sick at the same time, so he's actually been out. He was in the hospital. Um, but it's at the same time that Den left, so <laughs> it's kind of feeling the gym with these absences, and um, it just seems like a good time to be going. Um, not necessarily because of all of these things, but all these things happening at the same time makes the time seem right and makes the transition a little bit easier. Um, so we told our building, um, starting to tell the trainers um, told Dang first to talk to uh, Tor because I give him English lessons, so letting him know that I'll continue to give him English lessons when I leave um, by the internet if he wants. Uh, but it's kind of a slow process of, you know, letting people know these will be my last fights in Chiang Mai, at least for a year, um, coming up. And my last fight with Dan already happened, that was on Monday. Um, so it's a little bittersweet. Um, it's also a little bit exciting. It is starting to feel more like the um, passing the point of no return, like these things are actually changing. And uh, I'm like a cat, I don't really like changes. Like I get really nervous anytime my environment is different or, you know, not like a awesome traveler. Um, but so I'm, I'm really nervous about the changeover even though we've been to Patia before, we know what apartment building we want to go to. Um, I wrote to them and I'm not entirely Sure, um, I'm probably gonna have to call them or something because I haven't heard back, but so it's like going semi-blind, but also going having, you know, experienced it and knowing that the training is there that I want to get. Um, so it's exciting and horrifying, you know, the usual. Um, but that's the update for right now. I, um, I asked to fight next week. Hopefully this goes away sooner than that, but fighting with a black eye is not the end of the world. Um, but... Yeah, so it's a little bit difficult because Den is the one who books all of the fights. So uh, him being out, it's a little bit of a game of telephone trying to get my fight booked. Um, but I let them know and they're looking for next week. So hopefully I get a fight next week. And then after that, at least one or two more. Um, I want to be at least at 80 by the time I get down to Patia. Because um, I'm not entirely sure what the fight rate down there is going to be. Um... But so that's that. I'll let you know when I have another fight. And uh, big changes brewing in the air. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.